All right, so let's take a look at this person. Um, some of the things that are pretty um, apparent here with them is they've he's got a really strong kind of jawline there, a really big smile. Um, we're not going to necessarily get rid of any of those things, but let's um, kind of start reworking his head. The first thing I'd like to do is maybe get rid of the hair here. So um, I could go in and kind of clone away hair, but instead let's just take a head, a head from another person, this bald man here, and I'm just going to use my quick selection tool. And then that's too much. We don't need all of his face. Option will get rid of some of it. I'm going to keep his ears in here and I'll show you in just a second a little bit more than we, what we really want because we can always come back and kind of delete that later. So that looks like that's got all of the head there. Command copy to copy and then we're going to come back over to our smile guy here and command V. Um, if you ever get this um, it's just a different color space. We'll talk about that later but just hitting OK is all right. Now we've got this behind there so we're going to bring this up to the top. There it is. All right. So let's use our free transform. Remember that's command T and we're going to basically try to get this to line up with him. Now there's a little bit of a difference. This is on a slightly different angle but it's a bald head so it's okay. Um, so one of the ways that I can help to align things if I go down to opacity I'm just going to bring this down a little bit so that we can kind of see through it. And then I'm going to increase the size here. You can see that we probably need to tilt this just a little bit. It's again just trying to line up the corner of that face. Alright, so that looks like that's pretty good. The ears are kind of lined up, even though there's not an ear over there. And we'll clean this up in just a second. Let's hit enter. And then let's bring our opacity up to 100%. Alright, so the colors aren't perfect, but we'll come back and fix that later. You can also see that I've got this little bit of a white kind of edge here. So I'm just going to use my eraser by pressing E. Because there's no time that we're ever going to want that. So I'm just going to erase that area there. I could go in and also erase this area here, but instead I'm just going to use my uh, magic wand tool here to select that area and hit delete. All right, so that looks good. And that's one of the advantages and a lot of times why you'll see a lot of stock photography against a white background. All right, so this isn't a perfect match here, but we're going to come in and we're going to fix that in just a minute.